Atlas and Joe. Hi, everybody. So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. And we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 12 rounds in the welterweight division. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Manny Pacquiao is coming down to the ring right now, and he does so with a certain gamesmanship, putting forth that attitude to his opponent, telling him, I'm the man, and I know it. making his way to the ring. And I know you're used to seeing many ring walks where guys are really jacked up. This isn't one of them. Scheduled for 12. Get your hands up. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Blocks that punch. Block! Block! You know, he's improved dramatically through the years as a boxer, has Manny Pacquiao, but still his nature is that of a guy of aggression who jumps in. Now he's facing a counterpuncher. Yeah, he is, and it's a good thing he's improved a little bit because he used to really jump in, and he used to fall forward. You know, his lower body would not be up with his upper body. You know, his upper body would be ahead of his legs, and he'd get out of position. And he was always looking for that power hand for a southpaw, that backhand all the time, too much. Now he's jabbing, and that's the right way to go for the counterpunch, is to use your jab to stabilize him a little bit, you know, uh, sort of, you know, confuse his radar. Little head hunting with the left. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Zoning in with the overhand left. Scored well up top. Good right hand. Halfway through this round here. Staying away from those head shots with his defense up top. A well-timed right hand by bad intentions. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. You can sense it right away, Teddy. Looks like it's a tactical bout tonight. Well, that's what happens when you get two counter punches. Nobody wants to leave. That was not well targeted by Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao's combination punching is working well here. And now he brings the left hand upstairs. Bad intentions is punch didn't come close. So many times you hear of an early round where they're just feeling each other out. No way. Not these guys. Straight to action. Well, if they can keep this up, they're both going to have headaches, but we're going to have a special one on our hands. Yeah! Ten seconds to go in this round. Oh, what a power punch by Manny Pacquiao. Come on, 
And the round comes to an end. Bad intentions as corner men are going to have to look him over after being cut in that last round. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. Keep those hands moving, right? Okay, listen to me. When he misses you with a punch, counter, counter. You gotta give me the double jab. You're not giving me the double jab. You're only giving me one jab at a time. Here we go. Round two is underway. What power from that left hand of Pacquiao. Not precise at all by Manny Pacquiao. Blocks that belt line well. Targeting that straight left hand. Good flush shot by Manny Pacquiao. Able to block that away, it was targeted for his head. That's it. That's it. Unable to land clean by bad intentions. Blocks the headshot. That's a momentum changer upstairs. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Blocks away that headshot. Manny Pacquiao and his offensive attack are somewhat unconventional, where most guys come in and you get the one, two, or the one, two, three punches. There are many times he'll make a forward motion and five, six punches are thrown. Yeah, he's a guy that's on the upswing, getting better all the time. And he's added to himself. Before, it was just about power. Now it's about speed, it's about combinations. It's about all the things that you need to stay a champion. Not just be a champion, stay a champion. A knifing left hand by bad intentions. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Manny Pacquiao. Get from those punches. Move your head. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Now he ties up there. He missed with that headshot. Well-targeted left hand by bad intentions. Perfect. Blocks that punch. Final 10 seconds of round number two. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Oh, you see him with the left of the head there? And that's the end of round two. Pacquiao's corner has to keep him calm. That's the kind of cut that can send a fighter into fists. Yeah, and a corner man into using crazy glue instead of adrenaline. I mean, that is a scary cut, as you just said. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep the jab pumping and throw the lead right here, right? And you are winning this fight. Number three is underway. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. That's it, just like that.
Still not moving enough. Move, move! Wow, a big flush blow, the left hand by Manny Pacquiao. Good flush shot upstairs. Teddy Pacquiao has been in some great action fights. Defensively, are there issues with him defensively? Well, he's getting better in those quarters, but sometimes he'll jump in, sometimes he'll lunge a little bit. Leave holes, holes that opponents can fill. But for the most part, his speed gets him out of trouble. Manny Pacquiao snapped by a right hand. Well-timed by Manny Pacquiao. He took a step back, landed the counterpunch. Exactly what he wanted to do. Well, that was a bad moment for Manny Pacquiao, but now he looks to have settled in. Yeah, but we're going to find out now if he's the same aggressive Pacquiao that he's been and that he Looking needs good. to be. Pacquiao's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Nice right hand from the Pac-Man. Oh, oh, a crushing shot by Manny Pacquiao. Nice. Unable to connect by Manny Pacquiao. He tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Good fighting, snapping shot by Manny Pacquiao. How about that left hand? Relax, relax, you're okay, you're okay. Keep your hands up. Keep them up, right? I mean, you know, he caught you with your hands down. Let's keep them up. He's gonna come forward this round, all right? Keep that jam moving. Keep him away from the Keep your hands up, all right? You have to keep your hands up. You gotta give it a double jab. You're not giving me the double jab. You're only giving me one jab at a time. Fourth round is underway. Teddy's scorecard reads three rounds to zip against him. You know, I think if you told him before the fight you're going to throw more punches than your opponent, he'd feel good. But right now, it's not working. Well, I think he's looking to take a picture. He's looking to go to a studio and do a photo shoot because somebody should tell him that after you throw a punch, you're not supposed to pose. Not able to land the headshot. Relax. Oh, and now we see some head hunting by Manny Pacquiao. <laughs> Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Targeting each other, the exchange was something special. See him holding on. Head and body, head and body. Listen, everybody likes to see a great knockout shot to the chin, but truth be told, at this stage of a fight, the foundation for winning comes by going downstairs. It's just like the old timers would say, Joe, you kill the body, the head will follow. 90 seconds to go in round number four. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Get it out, get it out, get it out. Oh, what a whiff by Manny Pacquiao. That's a stinging 
right hand by bad intentions. Scores up top with a left. The combo lands upstairs. Well, he missed that right. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Pacquiao's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Headshot lands with the hook. Precision work with the bad intentions is almost out of it there. He was stunned. Put him away. Good way to protect the midsection. To the head he goes with a left hand. And round four comes to an end. Pacquiao's well, he's back in the corner, which is critical in terms of trying to stop the bleeding on that cut. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here and start moving their head, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that All cut right. anymore. Right. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. So a fresh round is underway, but is it a fresh cover fighter? Up, cover Bad attention, this corner is hoping so. Based on what we saw at the end of the last round, who knows? Well, his corner should also be hoping that his opponent across the way doesn't come out here like the executioner to it's get okay. this over with, because if he does, I think it's over. How about that angle by bad intentions? That was good stuff. Yeah, that's how you break up pressure. Guys coming at you, you know, trains coming at you. You don't go back on the track because it's gonna hit you. You go off the track on the side, exactly what he did. And that train went right past him. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here tonight? Well, two aspirin and then go, <laughs> oh no. Actually, I would say a little counter punching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. A well-targeted jab that time. And that's exactly what you need when you want to stay on the outside. Something to keep you away from your opponent. Big shot up top. He really got to him there. Oh, you're doing great. Hey, keep your hands up. Relax. Halfway into round number five here. A well-placed left hand up top. Jump on him. Nice. If there was a baseball umpire around, he'd call that a strikeout by Manny Pacquiao. Up, Manny Pacquiao's he leaving moved, himself wide moving. open there. You just can't do that. Well, you can't do it, but you're going to get paid. You're going to eat some leather. You're going to get punched in the mouth. That's going to happen. That's what I want to see. Left right, left right, left right. Left right. Threw the straight right hand, but didn't score with it. There you go. You're not patient now. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Right hand over the top. Very accurate with it. Let's go. I like that step back right there. Just enough 
to be out of danger, but still close enough to then lay in the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range, know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Look, you're standing straight up. Move that body. You need to move that body more. Intentions is now got to figure out a way to do exactly what he did in the last round here at the start of this round. Yeah, and his opponent, hey, his opponent has to say here, you seem to forget that sometimes, Joe. Move. His opponent has to make sure that he doesn't do the same thing he did the last round. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Trying to time that straight left hand, and he does so with ease. Scored well up top. Nice! Keep working the body. Pacquiao's getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Oh, you got this one. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. <laughs> On the mark, the counter punch by Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao's hit by a counter punch there. What an excellent two punch combo by bad intentions. Missed that uppercut. One, two, one, two. That's the clean shot with the left hand that he was looking for by bad intentions. Comes with the right. Offense by Manny Pacquiao. That's it, just like that. Pacquiao's able to land a nice, clean left hand. Off the target by Manny Pacquiao. On the mark with a straight left hand. You need to cover up though, okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Cover up. You're doing fine. He's just beating you to the punch, that's all. You need to throw more. Woo! That is it. That's it. I need another round like that. Just like that, all right? Doing good. Keep it up. So, he's tied. He's got nothing left, okay? Go for the head and knock. And we are underway for what is the second half of this fight. Who knows what we're in store for? Well targeted right hand by bad intentions. Eddie, how did it unfold this way? I mean, two guys who are no... Oh, things opened up. Look at that! Oh, an explosive headshot there. He is down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's over! This fight...
fight is over. Bad Intentions is night has ended early here. Unable to go the distance, he couldn't rise up and beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockouts, the winner, Ray So he's unable to recover from that one clean shot. This bout ends by way of knockout. You know, obviously, I'm not in his body, so you never know what's really going on, but. I just was wondering a little bit, could he have gotten up? Yeah, good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us.